hello. It was the ancient Greek philosopher Socrates who once said, a valitia ina doxmu. And I think those words still have meaning for us today. Now, in our short drama, we're once again going to find Socrates wrestling with the problems of good and evil. Maybe we can learn something from his philosophy. And so I say, you can recognize a bad man, not by his words or his deeds, but by his looks. Bad men most often have dark hair, perhaps a mustache, maybe some missing teeth in the front. But Socrates, you may argue, we look one way or another at birth. Can some men really be born bad? To this, I reply, yes. There are bad babies and bad boys. That's why I have to spank so many of them in my classes. Well, anyone care to argue this point with me? Come on! What's the matter? Am I too smart for you? Are you, are you saying that men are animals? Tell them, not me. Well, Thrasymachus, what say you? Well, he was pretty scary. But it was fun watching him growl and bark and stuff. Because <laughs> you never uh, growl or bark at us or anything like that. That's my answer. And you, Telemachus? Oh, um, well, my bum's getting sore from sitting on these cold yeah. steps, so I gotta go. Me too, he's my friend. I gotta go yeah. with him. Well, one guy was pretty scared. Well, they were both pretty scared. I guess the lesson there is obvious to us all. Just because a person has fangs and lots of hair doesn't necessarily mean he's a wolf. Even if he is a little bit wolfy, it's better than being part wolverine. Watch out for those little wolverines. They'll grab a hole to your leg and won't let go. Well, I hope this show was loaded with insights for you. It was for me.